So, I'm a drummer. And I also love Imbibator Lune. Honkai Star Rail took us on an incredible journey with this new version 1.2 Trailblaze mission, and I only just recently completed it myself. And if you're interested in watching my reaction to the initial transformation of Don Hung to the Imbibator Lune, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Also did a video reacting to the boss theme for Fantilia the Undying, which is actually the video where everyone started recommending that I listen to this song, which is Sumadratha? Sumadratha? Am I saying that correctly? Not totally sure. We're gonna watch the video right now. If you like the video, thumbs up gang, where are you at? Subscribe for more, let's check it out. I'm really excited to listen to this because in the quest and like in the cutscene, you can hear bits and pieces of the song. Oh, look, it's March. That's fun, I didn't know they were gonna do like custom animations. But anyways, you can hear bits and pieces of the song. I'm excited to hear the whole thing here. It's so moody. It, it fitting for Don Hong. <laughs> it's a dragon! How sick is that? What a nice touch. Nice touch. I think what we're gonna do, let's do an initial listen through on this song to kind of just enjoy the whole video and everything. Then we'll go back and listen through and try and break down the music a bit. I love the cadence change they did right there. It's neat how you can do that. Just changing the cadence of the vocals and the delivery of a lyric can add a feel of percussive drive to a song, even if it's just in a quick transition from verse to verse there. Oh, damn. Poor Yanqing. Dude looks cool for the first time in his entire life. And it's just to get his ass beat by two unkillable beasts of men. Damn. That was sick. Hey. I'm sick of getting destroyed by giant comets from big mommy boss fights. I'm not tired of it at all. Please keep doing it. Ooh, ooh. Picking it up there, okay. That's cool, that transition. Oh, look, his tail. I don't remember getting to see his tail like at all in the actual quest. Unless that's just like a figurative tail for the sake of appearance for this video, but still cool. Man, that whole region, how cool was that place? Dang, dude, the way they're timing everything out. Woo! We're gonna build here? Yeah, nice. You heard the singing. That was the build. Short and to the point. Well, I guess that whole section kind of served as a build in its own right. We'll break that down on the second listen. My man, Jing Yuan. <laughs> That's an intense way to end the song. Okay, all right. Second listen through. Let's, uh, let's talk about some of the musical elements and techniques they did here with the songwriting and composition. Or we could just talk about March. That's probably fine, too. I might prefer that over talking about music most any day, but here we are. This is a drumming channel, not a March 7th appreciation channel. I can change that if you want. I'm not opposed. Dragon's so cool. So that... Ah, all right. That's a cool element on the piano. They're using the piano there as they often do. Piano is technically a percussion instrument. And they're using it as percussion there. You'll hear it hitting on basically just the, I think it's just the one of every measure. We'll count it out and see where it lands. Then at the very end, before they transition to the next part of the verse, they delay it and get a little double hit. I'm thinking on like the two and the three, or maybe the two and. And it just, it almost makes like a, uh, like a, what a drum fill would be, but just with the piano, just for a quick, smooth transition to shake up the song a bit. Two. 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And four is where it lands. All right, that's cool. And it was landing pretty consistently in the same spot up until then. And then they skipped this regular hit and four. That was nice. I guess thinking about it, I think it was landing on the four. We're gonna figure that out. I actually think it was landing on the four and just by adding that extra hit on the and between the three and the four made it feel like a mix up. I got I gotta figure this out because that was so simple but super, super cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So it's hitting on the one and the four, and then we get the extra on the and right there. Just a cool little mix up. Gave it a slight sense of hesitation. Because on a prior on a prior measure it hit the three and the four, which is a very simple fluidic build on the count directly. And then hitting that and just gives it a little bit of a like a jolt, if you will. Super smart. Now you got the strings. The tempo is so slow. Those are basically hitting 16th notes. The tempo of the song is so slow, those strings are hitting, I think they're hitting 16th notes, which is adding a lot of movement because the tempo is so slow and because they're using strings instead of actual percussion. It doesn't make it feel like aggressive or busy. Again, super smart and it fits the vibe really, really well. And listening to it, that was definitely, they had some woodwind in there. It wasn't just strings. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Again, another mix up, just changing where those accentuated hits land in the count of that measure. Oh, it's so dramatic. So dramatic. So rather than going just straight up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and I think that's what they're doing. Almost like a triplet. Smart music people terms, not my strength. I'm just a drummer. But again, they're just, it's a change up. And rather than doing a change up on like a little build, they give it a whole measure right there. Yeah. Nice. They're employing that technique a lot. Strong, accentuated heats. <laughs> heats. Strong accentuated hits on the beat of the count and then hitting a quick change up before they transition to the next section. Super smart. It keeps the song feeling really open and really dramatic. And fluidic is, is kind of what they're going for, which is fitting given, you know, the whole theme of the dragon and the water in that specific area. Brilliant. That was awesome. All right, so that's Samu Jartha from the Honkai Star Rail soundtrack. The theme, I guess can we call it the theme for Imbibed or Lune? It's what plays during his whole cutscene and like that whole situation where he's getting ready to have his big anime moment, if you will. That was awesome. Again, super, super smart composition. Very different from the last vocalized song with lyrics that we got in Star Rail, which was Wildfire, which was translated in a variety of languages, I believe. I know we at least got it in English. Um, but there, that was just Chinese, right? Chinese? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, very, very different from Wildfire in terms of composition and delivery, which is awesome because it's just like, you know, oil mix, man, they, they can just do anything they want. They really can. They can mix it up in any way they want. They can do things one way 
and then the next update just do it completely different and it's awesome it's just awesome love it love it love it and the whole video they put together to commemorate that big moment with don hung and Inviber to Lune and really the whole gang they got blade and yan ching in there too jing yuan fantilia the undying awesome 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 gamers hope you enjoyed the video if you did leaving a thumbs up helps out a ton subscribing watching the rest of our videos catch us streaming on the live stream see some of these things happen live and like i said in the comments down below i'll have links to some of my live reactions to the fantilia boss fight the dong hung transformation stuff like that check all that out in the meantime love the games love yourself and i love you bye